Hey guys, Emils here. And today I'll be teaching you how to taxi and take off in the F-15E. Let's get into it. So first things first, you'll want to go on your right panel and turn off the brake hold. Now that you've done that, you can start taxiing. The F-15E automatically has rudder, rudder steering or nose wheel steering. So if you turn your rudder or press your rudder pedals, it will turn the aircraft. So we want to have a little bit of throttle input. And then we can turn the aircraft with the rudders. Like so. You have to turn to the right. Now you want to try to keep your front wheel on this yellow line. It is the taxi line on airfields. And you want to just follow that line. Uh, to be more realistic per se, it doesn't really affect anything, but it's safer for yourself. And it's, oh, it's safer for yourself and for other aircraft. Now you also always want to check for traffic on the taxiway. Now there's no traffic, so we can move forward and just slight throttle inputs, nothing big. You don't want to be taxiing too fast because that's also endangering others and yourself. This is quite a narrow taxiway as well. So all the more to follow the guidelines for taxiing. You can always check the F10 map to see where you're going or where you need to go, but always make sure that you're in a safe place to do so because you don't want to go into your F10 map and then someone in front of you breaks and then you crash into the back of him. So make sure you're doing it in a safe space. Now we're almost at the airstrip. You will just continue following the line. Now, this striped black and yellow line means you need to stop. This is so either the air traffic controller clears you to go on the runway, or in most cases in DCS, you just check for any incoming traffic or outgoing, outgoing traffic on the opposite side of the runway. And if it's free, then we just add in a little throttle input and continue to taxi onto the runway. So I'll just keep following the line here. Sometimes there won't be a line. So what you'll want to do is you'll just want to enter the runway and try to get to the center line of it. You want to be centered and you want to be pointing straight when for takeoff. Because if you're not, you might roll off the runway or just your plane's gonna go out of control trying to adjust so you don't go off the runway. So make sure you're, you're as centered as possible. So we are quite centered here, facing straight. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold back the brake. Now there's two ways you can take off, which would be mill power and full afterburner. So full afterburner is like full afterburner, you go to full throttle and you just take off. The other one is mill power, which is maximum power right before afterburner. So I'll be doing a full afterburner takeoff this time, but the procedure applies the same to both. So you want to hold down your brakes and then you want to just push your throttle forward, full afterburner, and when your plane starts to strip, slip, release the brake, you'll be rolling. So I have a pretty heavy load, so I think the plane's only gonna start coming off the ground at about 140, 160, 180 knots. But since we're on afterburner, we're gonna reach that pretty quick. And now I'm gonna start pulling back on the stick. And we're, the plane's just gonna lift off the runway. Now we're gonna put up the gear. We're gonna put up flaps. And we are off the ground. Now you can trim the aircraft as necessary. And that is how you taxi and take off in the F-15E. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you want to see more videos about the F-15, make sure to leave a like and a comment of, of the video that you would like to see. All right, that's it for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.